out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing, it's the last thing on our mind for crime. Much if you really, really wanna stop crime. Be safe when you're home, be safe when the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by the fence. It's still crime, much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream, I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when the streets. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence. It's still crying much came and give TNT confidence. Yo, there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. Getting out of there. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you who are locked on line, a special good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at us on Facebook, YouTube, here. Yeah? All the all Facebook so, uh, viewers, a special good evening to you. Remember, it's the Ian Allen Network. You go on to YouTube also, Ian Allen Network. You're going to see some great pop-ups. Our graphic guys are doing great. Our uh, Those who are creating the ads, they are doing really, really great. We have hired a new team of advertisers. We have also, just to let you know, we... We are, we are currently doing some changes with respect to camera people, persons. So those of you who are looking for opportunity to work cameras with us, make sure, get in contact with us, drop your resume at our studio. All right? It's always about taking it to the, to the next level. Always improvising. Always, you need to work around it. You know, I was really impressed over the weekend. Really, really impressed. Double R Restaurant. In fact, he did a live on Friday, you know, where he sells the duck and the goat head and everything and dalpuri and curry goat and aloo pie and, 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 and everything because he realized the bar closed. Bars closed. Nobody can go inside and drink. You can buy your alcohol and you can leave. But that is, and you know, I really love that approach. I love that approach that, you know, everybody come with that doom and gloom picture. I'm not coming with that doom and gloom picture, you know. I am not going to come with a doom and gloom life. Yeah, we say, oh God, we're all leading. Oh God, it's done up, me, done up, me, what am I to do? So, I, and, I, I, and I was telling Ragu, I was telling Ragu, I said, Ragu, I'm so impressed that, you, you know, you, you, you step up your game. You're okay, you realize you bar close. You're not going to go into depression. You're not going to get sad. You're not going to cry. I'm going to work around this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come out and I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, Set, set up a table, get a chula, do duck, do dalpuri, everything ready for weekend. He's selling bacon shark after studio, yeah? For the whole weekend, a Friday night, duck and all them fancy food and all kind of thing on the chula right there. Because bar closed. And that is how, that, and that is how you must take your life. That is how you must deal with situations. Not because one door closed, well, you lie down and you start a ball. Oh, God, oh, God, it's hand up again for me. Work around it, work around it, because... I mean, say if you're making X amount of dollars, you might make, you know, if, you, if you're making, let's say, a thousand or two thousand dollars a day in the bar. But if you come out and you walk around it and you still make a little fourteen hundred, a little, but you still make something to pay a little bit to chuck a, as, as I said, to plug a hole to advertisers out there. And, and, and that is why I'm really focusing. The, I had a meeting with the graphics person. We're looking back at advertisers. I the, the ask how to boost them. Like I, 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 you know, I decided to get in contact with King Cool. I want to know, sun is hot. How do you do? You have a special set to gas people car ACs. So put it up on the screen. Put up numbers. I even I, I realized Sukai Diesel. They are coming on board just now. Yeah, they're gonna come on board. That is uh, that is Rishi. He also the the, the chairman of the the um the, the chamber and whatnot in Chicago. He's a great guy. Um. Richie, I'm saying Rishi. Richie, Richie, Richie. Why do I say Rishi? Yeah, I have a cousin who his name is Rishi. Yeah, but um, Richie, he's a super great guy. He went to press, bright boy, bright, brilliant. I tell you, brilliant. And, but everybody's working around it now. You gotta step up your game, step up advertisers, step up your game. 
I know that was one reason. That was one of the, that was one of the, mo a, a, a serious reason why I left CNC Trainer because I had a problem with the cost of the ads. I think that if a package costs 10000 to come back and tell somebody, hey, it's going to cost fourteen or sixteen now. That's kind of hard, boy, in times like this. I mean, you're looking at the number one show, X amount of viewers, so many people, but still, boy, it's a global thing, and you know, I need to work around that. So we haven't, we, we're not going to raise, we stay there, but we're pushing the arts, pushing it. I've hired a whole team, and why I'm telling you this now, I've had a whole team to, to, to stick with, 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 with social media. They're going to monitor your arts, place it during the course of the day. Some of you who are, well, all the persons out there who like my page, subscribe on YouTube, you're seeing it. You're seeing it, you're seeing it. Which, 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 which is great. Because all I want my advertisers to make money. I want you all to make money. I want, and you know, I, I, I was really, I, I was shocked. I was shocked. You know, what, you know what really shocked me over the weekend? Let me tell you what shocked me over the weekend. A lot of things shocked me over the weekend, but let me tell you what really shocked me over the weekend. I told the president of the Bar Association. I don't know, maybe, no offense, I don't know if he joined A. And um, Alcohol Anonymous, that he does not like alcohol or something like that. I was, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked when the bar president of the bar association, boy, I would have voted you out. I would have voted them out because you are so many. I know the majority of bar owners I know, and I know a lot of people who have bars. Eh? It's San Fernando, Arima, Port of Spain. Or me and a drinker in no bar. I don't really go to no bar to sit on no on, on no stool and and and, and drink and like I, I, that, that, it, that is, maybe if I pass maybe I might call May we might meet up somewhere might drink something cold but after that I ready to go I get bored really fast I go in a zone and I say I ready to go I ready to go I ready to go and but there are people who like to go and you know, or thing and the lime and you know, but that's certain places I will do that. I do it in my zone. I like to go to hangers. I love drinks. I line with me. We are sit down. We are talk. Talk for a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, order food. Love, get Jones. And imagine all that. And you're telling me the president. Or, I tell you, this is a very upside down place. But the advertisers out there, and those of you who the pandemic really affected, and Corona, corona really affected. And I almost said Corona. Corona, you know, really affected you. You need to work around it. It's going to always be here. You need to work around it. And, you know, I gave Ragu, I gave Ragu five stars, full marks. Work around it. Come out with something. Come out with something. Call me, say, oh, you know, I want you to Ian Allen. I want you to add this to my ad. Okay, add this to your ad. You have a special comment? Okay, add it to my ad. Great. Yeah, no problem. Free of charge. You understand? Free of charge. I saw the, I, I saw the, the, um, hold on, yeah? The, the, the Barkeepers Operation, Operators Association of Trent Tobago, look at this, is in total agreement with the strict enforcement of the public health ordinance for which we have been advocating since September 2020. Bar owners of our association would like to clarify certain statements made report pertain to the public health ordinance sub regulation 46 pertain to the operation of preschools and not congregations outside bars also sub we are, we are we we are extremely pleased that our new minister of national security has heeded to our cause for covid regulation compliance unit that we are also advocating that the laws be enforced uh, equitably which, which has not been happening because of two main reasons police districts enforcement of the health ordinance has varied within various police districts because the health ordinance is not clear clearly defined and most decisions are based on the officer's individual comprehension of the health, police protected bars and whatnot. I want to know if this bar man like he going mad. I would like, like to know if the, if the, the, the president of the bar association, if he's crazy, what is happening with you? You need to come out and tell us what well, you have found the, you have found the Lord or tell me, <laughs> tell me, you know, let me tell you something partner. If you don't know it, if you don't know it, there are people struggling out here. And it's a bar owner struggling. Struggling. And if, let me tell you something, a man buy a beer from a bar and walk outside, and you know, I am a Christian enough. But the writing is the writing. I'm in a position to speak out. 
if a man buy a beer and he decide, he decide to cross the road and stand up, the barman have nothing to do with that. You say, them saying ban alcohol and ban this. I want to know what side you on. That is like getting up in the morning and Auntie K calling me and telling me, Ian Great is the PNM. Yeah, your PNM jersey. Like, what? When I read that, I said, this man, something is wrong. No offense to AA, no offense. But something is wrong here. Yeah, something is wrong. Some, some are finding the tune for the president of the Bar Association has changed. And as I always said, and I... And as I always said, and I said it before, the Bar Association is in that predicament based on the president of the Bar Association. He never stood for what was right. He never stood and defended the bar owners. He never did it. He never did it from day one. He never did it. If there's one man I blame for the bars, the problem that the bar is facing today is the president of the Bar Association, a boot. Some of you might not like that, but I tell you, flat in your face today. Flat, I tell you outright, something wrong with this, with this statement. Something wrong. He said a bat with, 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 with Minister Hines, all kind of thing, boy. Like you got a red jersey, you know? <laughs> Because something wrong, no offense, but I just want to know. I really, really want to know because I know people struggling, bar owners struggling. So bar owners start to sell a little barbecue outside their place, a little aloo pie. They start to sell, I don't know. You should go talk to, to, to people. I, I was chatting with Ivan with, um, with me. Um, passage to Asia. He's come down with something. If you can't can come inside, come outside. If you can't come inside by me, come outside. I'm going to meet you. Yeah, do something. Can you, you know, do something. Jump out and do something pertaining to the, to the type of food that you sell. Come out and do something. Nobody buy, buy your alcohol and move on. And you, you, it's so sad, yeah, that over the weekend, you know what these people did? You know what these people did? They hired people out of district because they so feel that the police in the district might tell the bar owners, all right, well, let's take a, okay, let's take a little and go up the road now. So, because they have that kind of camaraderie with the, with the patrons and whatnot. Not every policeman have a bar, but that police or they will understand, understand what people are going through, understand that they can't be harsh and be brave. When you don't, hey, well, let's move on. So don't stand up by no bar and drink now. You know it's a little problem. Okay, okay, okay. Because look what day I was, I, I was somewhere, and a police van stopped, and I watching her. Yeah? I watching her, I say, wait, wait, I'm going to get charged. You know the policeman come by? You know what the policeman do? And all you know, try not to drink in close proximity at the bar. Now. Take all your thing and go up the road now. Or they will get a ticket. You know when I'm fellas still wrong and tell me after when the policeman driver? That man real nice boy. And they just jump in the car and or they buy, uh, whatever and they go on the merry way. I'm just showing you. It's how you do it. Over the weekend, not people get locked down. All my all um shanties, all of them. Oh yeah. But they brought people from out of the area to pressure people, to frighten them. And it's sad. And when you have the bar owners, the, bar, the president of the bar association, and making no statement, and he batting for Rowley and them. That is what he's doing. And it's sad. You need to, if you're the president of this association, you, you, the, the association of the bar, the, 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 the bars out there have, have, um, have concern, you need to stand up for them, man. You need to stand up. It's very distasteful, very, very distasteful. And I was looking at another thing, and I didn't get it highlighted. Good for you. I didn't get it highlighted. Good for you. The embassy is. Um, the embassy said. The embassy said that over the weekend, don't, that don't travel to the U.S. The, 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 in fact, don't travel to, to Trinidad and Tobago. U.S. citizens told. But I realized when they showed me the area, right, because here what they said, yeah. U.S. government personnel are prohibited from traveling to the following areas. And after that, U.S. government personnel are prohibited from traveling to downtown Port of Spain, Fort George, overlooking the beach. I, w I want to tell you something. Hold on, yeah? I was looking at something. I was looking at something here. They, 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 they said different areas. Do not travel to. Get to that part, um, director. Do not travel to. Do not travel to Lavantil. Look at it here. Do I have it here? That's how we're going to get it. Right, do not travel to Lavantel, Beetham, Silots, Cokerit, 
But you know, Lavantel beat them, Celia's Cookerit and Interior Queens Park Savannah in Paul Spain due to crime. But you know, you know the minister, <laughs> you know the minister, the minister of the minister of national security. That is his, all that is the majority is his area, right? He's the member of parliament for that area. That says something, but the the the, the, the American embassy made a very strong statement when they said they spoke about terrorism. They spoke about terrorism, and it's something I want to tell you. Terrorists may attack. Hear what they said, yeah? Terrorists. Look, look, look at it. Terrorists may attack with little or no warning targeting tourist locations, transportation hubs, markets, shopping malls, local government facilities, blah, blah, blah. Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, the embassy, I heard that the embassy played a very pivotal role with respect to the firearms and information that was found. And let me give you another talk again. I heard it. I heard this, inf I got this piece of information today from someone who is in that dance. Not in the embassy, but who plays a, a, a very important role with respect to crime and criminal activities in Trinidad and Tobago. I cannot, it's not the commissioner, I cannot call that person name. I know what he said. He said, you see the guns that they found Friday at the bond in, in, in Piaco there? At the bond in Piaco? You know what, let me tell you something, come back to me. You know part of that gun, part of that, part of that shipment already here? Yeah? Part was found already, and it is connected. It is connected. It is connected. It was found in the east, in the east of Trinidad. It is connected to what was found in the bound in Piaco Airport, the old Piaco Airport. Yeah? So somebody, something that, some, I ain't hear nobody come out and talk about that as yet now. Because I tell you today, it had more, as my grandmother used to say, more in the mortar beside the pestle. But the, but the accessories for those firearms already in Trinidad. Hear the sound of it. Go ahead. Yeah, look at it. It's terrible. It's serious. The cartridge and all kind of thing already, already in Trinidad, you know. I don't want to go back to that case because certain things before the courts. But the, 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 the next part for that, the next part for all them gone, already came in. Just to let you know that, the next part for all them, all these ammunition you're seeing there, all these firearms and whatnot that you're seeing there, already came in. That is, just an, an, uh, that is just the next part of it. That is the next part. And, and, and nobody's coming out, you know. Let me tell you something. Nobody's coming out, you know. Nobody's coming out and talking about that. I didn't hear the Minister of National Security all at press conference and tell the nation, what is that? As there is words, that is a very serious thing. But just to let you know today, and I'm letting the public know, and I'm reading the right attack on them, come out and tell the nation, because... The, the next part of that shipment already came in. And part was seized already by police. Part was seized. Part of, part of that shipment related to what went on on Friday. That already seized. Person in custody. But everybody know who is up there. They already got in the eyes. And they know it is, part, it is all connected. Ladies and gentlemen, today I tell you, watch and pray, watch and pray, watch and pray. They have been, just to let you know, we had a very bloody weekend, yeah? We had a, ver a very, very bloody weekend. Eight persons were killed over the weekend. We had one on Sunday, six on Saturday, and one on Friday. Victims were killed in Arima, St. James, Valencia, La Hoqueta, San Fernando, Curap, uh, so called Ran Pretty Valley. When we come back, I'll tell you more about it.
Visit Party Paradise and make your next party a fantastic event. Located in Tobago, Gulf City Mall and now in Chiguana. Get licensed character supplies, candies, tokens and more. Make your event a party today with Party Paradise. Courtesy of Adris Marketing Limited. Allahumma inni laka shumtu wa bika amantu wa alayka tawakkaltu wa ala rizqika afartu Idris Marketing Limited is the Caribbean's largest supplier of raw tie and parts and accessories. We carry security steel doors, aluminum windows, gate tracks, hinges and much more. For domestic and commercial use, located at Freeport and Arapita Avenue. Don't wait until it's too late. Courtesy of Idris Marketing Limited. The Trend Centers are back. Fab India Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shagornas will be reopened from Wednesday, April 21st. Brides, grooms, family and friends, buy unmatched outfits at our bridal booths. Don't forget to match your jewelry to perfection. Fab India Expo would like to wish everyone Ramadan Kareem. Get the latest variety of Islamic wear. Also featuring royal and antique furniture from Jaipur, Jodhpur and Agra. Beautifully hand-carved teak furniture from Saharanpur. You will be required to wear your mask, sanitize and check your temperature before entering. All COVID protocols will be observed. Fab India Expo, starting April 21st, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Every day including weekends. Beat the heat at Kingco Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. Visit the Classic Tiles Showroom at number 64 Endeavor Road, Chagunas and view our wide selection of mosaic, planks, ceramic and porcelain tiles to suit every style and budget. We cater to do-it-yourself projects and professionals. Our helpful staff is ready to assist. We also carry a variety of tools, paints, accessories and equipment. Call us at 665-1547 for unbeatable prices. Shop at Classic Tiles today. Don't let the sun stop your fun or the rain ruin your day. Get complete coverage from custom canopies and coverings. Our team of highly qualified experts will have you covered. We fabricate, install and refurbish both residential and commercial awnings. We work around the clock to ensure the job gets done with 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Call us in Trinidad at 293-6142 or 463-7429 and in Tobago at 282-1068 or visit our website. Save money at Nilku. Service any unit starting at 175. Comfort Air units for only 2050. Or get a Lennox unit for only 2700. Massive sale now on. Call to book your appointment today. Green is the number one gently dried superfood. Increase mental capacity and reduce stress with ashwagandha, the major ingredient in the superfood blend. Feel relaxed and reduce stress with a solid dose of antioxidants in the Alkaline Greens blend. Available at pharmacies nationwide or contact Gradient Health and Fitness, the sole distributor for Organifi and TNT today. up your home and business with ornate and crafted raw iron designs from RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited. Visit us at Shagornas next to the Dawali Nagar. Be safe, be secure and in style with your number one choice, RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited. Imagine a place where cuisine from around the world is prepared by the most knowledgeable chefs. Welcome to Passage to Asia on the Avenue. Come experience the finest in authentic Indian, Chinese, Thai and Italian dishes all in one exhilarating location. Dine in or take advantage of our express lunch buffet or try our Sunday brunch, a two-for-one cocktail happy hour specials. For reservations and orders, call 736 or 739 Asia. Passage to Asia.
we are back. You know, if you're ready to talk in this country, whether you like it or not, and it's not a matter, let me tell you something, yeah? I am not going to stand here and say, who are to go to hell and made this one rot in hell and that one. The passing of Franklin Khan was very, very sad. Very sad. I know Franklin Khan well. I know the guy well. I know Laura well. I don't think I know the kids and them, but I, I, I know Laura well. You understand? I, I've spoken to her already. But I'm just saying, nobody's on them. Nobody upset. But all I'm just saying, what is good for one, it is good for all. Everybody must be treated fairly. Everybody must be treated with respect. You understand? Everybody must be treated with respect. Because his family, they have, they have already reached Trinidad since la they came in when? Franklin Khan died on the 17th of April. Last week, Thursday, four days after, his family was here. They're in quarantine. They're quar they, 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 they are currently in quarantine. But it takes me back, ladies and gentlemen. It takes me back to people calling my phone and crying and bawling and screaming. My father dead. My mother dead. And I can't come. You know anybody? They want me to tell you. They want me to tell you. You know anybody, Ian Allen? You know somebody, but <laughs> I will try. Ian Allen, look, my father now dead here now. I don't know what to do, you know. Look, I, bo I have gotten 50, I don't know, countless, screaming. Look, my brother now get killed. Look, my mother had a pain and look, she passed away. Let me come now. See if you could call Raul, you know. See if you could call, if you could call um, Stuart now. See, see, just check it out for me now. I want to come. I want to see my mother face before she died. Be, 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 before the cremator. They never had that chance. But Franklin family got, Franklin Khan family got that chance. This is in no way, to, I'm not discrediting nobody. But all I am saying, just like how America will do it, now I know as, to an extent when you're in a, a public position, to a certain degree, you will be given a preferential treatment. I myself, because of who I am, I, when I go places, whether it be locally or internationally, I am being treated a certain way because of who I am. And it reminds me, ladies and gentlemen, it reminds me when, before, it reminds me when I was invited to St. Lucia and the owner, the lady great, Butch, the owner of Sanders sent his private jet for me and I reached there with a, a couple of other journalists. But when I reached there, I got a different treatment to everybody and I felt bad. I felt bad because I realized other journalists watching me from different media also. How are we hearing that? How are Ian Allen hearing that? But then as Bud said, the owner of Sanders said, Ian Allen, you're a great man. And he said, it is an honor. Look at a video of him and I talking. It is an honor meeting you. It is an honor. I say, it is an honor meeting. Look here, I talking one-on-one. -on -one. We were having coffee after. You understand? Great guy. Never forget that. And he said, yes. he said, great. He said, hello, you. I can see the girl, superstar. And he and I was chatting. Come back to me. And I will never forget. And it says a lot about me. And I didn't, because I said, if I gain this treatment, because I went with a cameraman called Sox. Sox was with Melody. And Sox, I, I, I say, you know what? I ain't going to bring no big, no, nobody who not walking with me. No other cameraman from anywhere and bring them with me. Let me carry my own partner. And I said, Sox, you ever ride in a private jet? He said, no. I don't know if you ever ride in a plane. I said, come go with me. We're going down the road. I said, private thing, ding, ding, ding. We go on in the private jet, Sox like up himself. But when we reach to, to St. Lucia, we saw the guy kind of treatment. Sox really say, huh. Big boy thing here, boy. Big steak, you know. <laughs> well, I, I eat I, you know, every day. Every day is Christmas for me. But when we were leaving, Butch called me and said, I am a surprise for you alone. For you alone. So I think for me, he said two things you're going to get. You can come to my resort anytime and take the best for life for a weekend. It is paid. I said, serious? Serious? He said, yes. He said, come and relax and cool your head. Drinks on me, everything. I told his manager. Anytime Ian Allen called, he does not pay. Wow. Got I two, three thousand a night, yeah? US, we talking about, yeah? He said, what color Rolls Royce you like? 
I said, he blew the blue, the you could call it some colors. He had about three. He sent for the guy, the guy come out with gloves and opened the door and the see boy. I don't know if I had the video, socks have it, but Rolls Royce thing. When I sat in the Rolls Royce, I sat in the Rolls Royce, you know what I did? I see socks watching me and doing so. They're looking good, they're looking. I said, hold up, hold up, hold up. I said, drive. Excuse me. He said, yes, yes, sir. I said, don't drive off. I have, I have somebody to come with me. I said, socks, come. I can't leave you behind. Sit here in this car. He and, and he and I going through all through St. Lucia, driving through the market, all I bought with this room, a half an hour before I, I bought the private jet. And I said, I wouldn't do that because he came with me. So I'm just saying, as much as we will get preferential treatment, we must. Look, look at the Rolls Royce in the back there. Look at the Rolls Royce in the back there. That is when they had it for me. Come back to me. It's not about me, but I'm just showing you. So people are outraged. They are outraged because we create problems. We don't treat people differently. They don't like that. They feel hurt. They feel demoralized. People out there, they will hate this government. It's not because they hate Franklin Cano, they hate Laura, but they don't like how they, how they feel because people lost. And, I, and I, I, maybe what Laura said is not her fault. It's not a family fault. But what is good for one is good for all. That is all. Nobody's upset. But maybe you are, maybe a, a, a lot of you, and just to let you know, Rowley don't have COVID again. I tell you, there's a lot of things happening in this country now. He don't have COVID again. So he looked like he had the Ian Allen wave. One minute I have it. I, 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 I got a paper what they do, but somebody told me. I put it on the group where they mix up my reports. You all have that? But nevertheless, he doesn't have it anymore. Just how the bar owners get up in the morning, the president of the bar so stay and, stay and say, alcohol is an alcohol that. Well, boy, how can I think happen in this place? Now you hear around, he say, boy, he negative. Well, thank God. All right, he, he out of the woods. He out of the woods. So I'm just showing you, everybody wants to be treated fairly. And that is what I stand for today. That, I am a very straightforward kind of fellow, you know. I am a real straightforward, straightforward kind of man. What good for one, good for all. I don't believe in going to nobody else and eating and when time to eat. I line with everybody in the wedding and because I was here and I carry me inside to eat. I said, no, 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 no. I woke up up there. I said, no, 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 no. Bring the leaf, spread it right here. Let me sign it. Bring the juice, bring the sujik, bring the rum right here in front of everybody. Mr. Allen, you ready to eat? I said, yeah, 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 I'll eat now. Oh, come this way. I said, where we going? They say inside, they have a table for you. For you and your party. I say, how you mean? So I'm them outside. Nah, I say, me and that man, bring things outside here, man. I am not different. I am not different. Ask anybody who have lined with me, and they were I don't like to be treated differently. Even though it comes, it comes. That comes with the position that I hold as a public figure. But I don't like them thing. I don't like ranking thing. Just want you to know. Just want you to know. Just want you to know. We had a bloody weekend. Police, let me start with Arima. It have eight, eight, eight years to be running now. Police, start, police visit the scene in Arima where a man was shot dead just after midnight on Sunday. Loreston Fletcher of Heights of Gonapa Road, Arima, was gunned down along Blantyshire's Road on Sunday 25th. At around 12.30 a.m., Fletcher was among a group of persons lining along the roadway when two vehicles pulled alongside them. Three men exited wearing ski masks and armed with weapons announced a hold up. But Fletcher told them to get lost. Following which you are shot, you must rank up. You rank up, don't rank up. In a robbery, don't ever rank up. Don't look like you're a hot, you, you know, don't look like you're a hot rod. Man with gun, but you saying get lost. You don't say that. Today he lost his life. He lost, and it's sad. In a robbery, do not try to play to play hero. Don't put, don't lose your life for a gold chain, a car, or a watch. Forget it, you'll get it back. Because the bandits and them will eventually become a victim of their own demise. Some, you might not kill them, but somebody else will. Because that is their livelihood. And they will end up like that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, so, um, so you just found out about Blantyshire's Road. We have seven more to go because we have eight murders. I'm going to tell you now about St. James. Two police officers were gruesomely discovered a headless body near a riverbank upper D-Bay Road, St. James, on Saturday. The body, is which, the body which is yet to be identified was found by a team of officers on Saturday on 24th April. According to police reports, between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m., 
residents of the Upper Debe Road report hearing a crashing noise in the bushes near his home, a resident. The resident checked in the road near his house about 20 minutes later and found a trail of blood leading to the river. He called the police and pointed out the area where they found the blood. Police searched the bank and found the headless body. My camera people were on site. And, this, and you see, that, this is why I tell you, come on, come on, that make sure and go to my Facebook, Ian Allen, um, Ian Allen, and like my page. It's about five or 600,000 followers, whatever. And like it, follow it, and even on YouTube, follow, subscribe, Ian Allen Network, subscribe, so you will get breaking news. You will get breaking news. You will get breaking news. So ladies and gentlemen, today, I have six more. I have six more, to, I have six more crime scenes to take you on. I took it to St. James, Blanca shares, because we had eight over the weekend. So I have six more again. Let me take a fast break and we'll continue. Debbie's Furniture, our prices are the cheapest and our quality is the best. We have store-wide bargains on kitchen cabinets, islands, chest of drawers, mirrors, bed frames, sofa sets and more. Located at Last Shopping Mall, Debbie and number 6 Clark Street, Pinal, next to the market. Santana boy, you can pick me up. Where are you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so I make my name. <laughs> The Trend Centers are back. Fab India Expo at the White Ten opposite Medford Gas Station Shagonas will be reopened from Wednesday, April 21st. Brides, grooms, family and friends, buy unmatched outfits at our bridal booths. Don't forget to match your jewelry to perfection. Fab India Expo would like to wish everyone Ramadan Kareem. Get the latest variety of Islamic wear. Also featuring royal and antique furniture from Jaipur, Jodhpur and Agra. Beautifully hand-carved teak furniture from Saharanpur. You will be required to wear your mask, sanitize and check your temperature before entering. All COVID protocols will be observed. Fab India Expo, starting April 21st, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Every day including weekends. Carrying the number one brand Bridgestone. The best tire in the whole nation Them are pro, they no novice no. Prices, them are the best in the market oh. Killing the tire, them into the office Now, now, now They got the good, good, they got the good Brand Tech Whether it be forklift, agricultural Or even an industrial vehicle Brand Tech has a tire to suit you Check out their brand spanking new alignment center at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Montrose Chagones. Contact them at 672-8575. Come on down to Adams Optical where we offer free comprehensive eye exams with free frames and a three-month payment plan with no interest. We have a wide selection of frames and shades for everyone and we also specialize in contact lens examination. We are located at RRM Plaza on High Street San Fernando and 91 Montrose Main Road, Chagones. Find us on Facebook or visit us in store. Adams Optical. Located in the heart of Gasparillo, Naturally Fresh Food Supermarket offers you the lowest prices on all your everyday food and household supplies. We have massive weekend specials, also available at Green Hill Foods, Princess Town. Stefan Drugs now open at Heartland Plaza in Shigwana's first world drugstore with best prices on drugs, vitamins, toiletries, stationery, grocery items, baby products and more. We also carry British Parliament Hilden Water, Mara Beans imported directly from Italy, Bottle Nexium, Allegra, Zitec, Gourmet Foods and Snacks, a selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in Trinidad. So visit us today. We've got elegance, we've got class, we've got swagger. At Raquel Moda, we have something to suit every style. Robert Graham Men's Line. Footwear, formal dresses, watches, sleepwear and jewellery. Visit us at San Juan or C3 Center, San Fernando.
you can see, all your ads will be played on every social media platform that we have. Because I tell you now, I really want to focus and I really pay special attention. I'm enlarging in their numbers with respect. I'm, I'm, I, I, listen to me, I literally hired uh, people to, to focus on the, the ads on social media, also on television. That's why we have to rerun the marathon. We didn't have it today, but we're going to see it tomorrow. All, the, all, all our previous shows will be seen online during the course today, so people can still be relaxing somewhere. Somebody can see your ad and call you immediately. Make sure people answer your phone. You're not playing, you're not playing with advertisers. So now you know what went on in Blanty Shares. You know what went on in DBS St. James. Let me take you to... Um, let, me, let me take you to Valencia now. There's a third. Remember, we had eight, huh? A, fo a former unruly ISIS member was gunned down in Valencia area on Saturday. 23-year-old Nathaniel Gould, A.K. Redo of Ramjohn Avenue, Valencia, family of Enterprise, and Calvary Hill, was shot at dead along Valencia stretch in the vicinity of Danjade Mini Mart on Saturday 24th, around 6.15. Loud explosions were heard in the area. Upon checking, Gould's motionless body was discovered with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the back of his head and buttocks. A silver motor vehicle was seen shortly thereafter, speeding away from the area. Gould was known to be part of the unruly ISIS gang in Enterprise. He had a criminal record for possession of firearm, ammunition, and robbery. Just to let you know that. So this happened in Val Valencia. Also, let me take you now to La Hoqueta. So we have four, okay, we have four again. 21-year-old gunned down in La Hoqueta on Saturday evening. Akim Charles of, so of Sunny Ramdin Avenue, phase one, was shot and killed on Saturday, 24 to April, 2021, around 5.45 p.m. Charles was on his way, was on the roadway in front of his house repairing a motor vehicle when a dark blue car drove past him. Several loud explosions were heard and Charles was found bleeding to the ground. He was taken to the Arima Health Facility. This happened in La Hoqueta Saturday evening. I have an interview. Go ahead. I went to work. I came home and heard that. I can pull up. Two minutes. I walk him out. The handgun. I can shoot behind. So basically, it's my son. And then I'm going to my son jump out. And when he falls on the ground, I'm going him off. In front of my wife. And my children, and everybody. Basically, honestly, the world on the wrong is the same set of fellas who I lost a son a year and something ago. And basically, the same set of men. And it's overbearing to know that here we're not, you're not, you're, you're not interfering with nobody, you're, you're living your life. But these fellas just insist that here we're not, this is the way they want to be. Yeah. You understand? Because the most first and last he came to me and he tell me, he said, Daddy, why them fellas come by me and ask me to join them? And I tell them I not no gang thing, I not that I look into my little hustle. And they say, if we enjoy them, they will kill you one by one. Three months after my son dead. Now, next son come and dead. He have a temper. But he was also a cool fella. You understand? He not on people where he, he wasn't working, I wouldn't lie. But at the end of the day, he wasn't people, he used to be home. He go, he lime across my neighbor, he lime, so he helped this one, and that is it. He was no person to say, he go in and pull a gun and rob people. And at the end of the day, the innocent, they had nothing, so they don't have a fighting chance, and the gangster and gang gun willy nilly like his sweet bread and toffee and thing they go and buy. Tell us something to the father, if you know who the criminals are, if you know the perpetrators, please let me know, so we can gather the information and come for them. I've been part of a lot of exercise over the weekend, and passing information and whatnot, and so now I don't jump out. But let me tell you something, let me, let me fix in this place, you know. I not only about shoot, thing and show this and show that, you know. Let me tell you something, I about fairness. Every creed and race has an equal place in this country. And don't matter what, not because I, I, I'm a, a man, my wear a, con a, a clerks and a three-quarter pants and a white jersey. And my plat up here, and only be going so by the block, so. Yeah, da, yeah Dan, where's he seen? The man is a criminal because I know plenty of professional persons might just say that. So don't let, let us not be too quick to stereotype and put race and whatnot. And nothing that race thing. Let me tell you about the fifth murder. The body of a man who, 
who campaigned for the Movement for Social Justice, MSG. In 2019, local government election was discovered dead in the trunk of a rented kind of Saturday. 37-year-old O.C. Leonard was shot dead and stuffed in the truck of a car at Rudolph Cemetery near his Embarcadere home on Saturday. For a report stated that uh, Leonard, a father of three, rented a silver Nissan Versa on Wednesday, but, it, but did not return it at, at the expected time. The owner of the rented car was contacted by relatives and GPS showed the vehicle had been parked for almost 21 hours in the cemetery. Leonard's body was soon... Well, it was after discovering a crowd position with a gunshot wound to the left side of the head. Police were contacted and PC sank and homicide divisions visited the scene in the cemetery to kill this man and the finest man in the cemetery. You know? you know, the last person, the last, this is the vehicle here, look at the vehicle. The last person, ladies and gentlemen, to be murdered in, in the in back of the in back of the day was 35 year old Adina Adana Allen. A supervisor at Puff and Soft Bakery was stabbed to death inside an apartment in the back of the San Fernando. You know. That was the last person, remember that? And after the man hung himself on all kind of thing? So that was the last in back of the day. Had a real back. That was the last time. Also, let me tell you about the sixth murder now. Remember, we have, we have had eight for the whole year, for, for, for the whole weekend. You see, I like giving you the news before the news. I like giving you, make, making sure you know what's going on. You know, you know what's going on. I want to tell you. Or let's try to work through all this corona thing and work the statistics for corona right now. I'm going to tell you what's going on with that. It's 100, 120 newly confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours in the country. But yet, but yet, ladies and gentlemen, yet, ladies and gentlemen, the Spanish state, they're not responsible for that. I had an interview with them over the, week, over the weekend. Remember, on Friday, a boat coming from, from, from Venezuela turned over in the ocean between Trinidad and the carcass, turnover. So the bodies, the bodies, some went back to, but the majority went back to Tokopita, seven survived. I heard last night, I heard from my sources that I have a video where they locked up the seven survivors saying that they broke the law, the, the, the law that they, they left without immigration thing and that and that and this and that. All right? And also people died. One body flew, one body came ashore in sea just over the weekend. Look the photograph here. Look the photograph here. All right, this happened. It's a little video. All right, so, you know, but still, and, they, and you know, they continue to come and they find that's not a problem because I'm, you know, I didn't want to rile it up, but I met with the family, I took a translator, and one of my good friends, she works at Army Hardware, her name is Sabrina, she, she spent a couple of years well in Venezuela, nice girl, I took, I, I, I took up yesterday and she was my translator there, and um, translator, Translator. We'll have a tight tongue, you know. So, but you but you you'd be surprised to know what they told me. I'll have a little, I'll have a one minute clip, but this one you to hear. Come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. Before we go back to before we go back to this is family of the persons. They are friends and families on the vessel that that, that turn over. That capsize as they say. Go ahead. The Prime Minister don't have contact with Spanish. How do they know that Spanish bring it in? Because they don't bring it, they don't have it. Pero como dicen allá, que allá la coronavirus, él no quiere problema con ninguno, él no le está diciendo... No problema, 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 they don't want to attend them in the health center. They don't want to. They don't want okay. to attend them, uh -huh. especially the children. And they don't want to attend either. I did a full interview because what they were saying when she said she said that the prime minister that she, the, the Spanish girl said that the prime minister, I mean, it's not only Spanish causing the corona. That's what they said.
But very interested in interview. I didn't want to ask no kind of out of time in question because they wouldn't really tell me what was going on. So now you found out what went on with the with the with the with the, um, the, the government. The guy from um, MS from um, MSG. Also, let me take you to Cure. Police are investigating the murder. This is the sixth murder of an Arima man who was shot and killed during an attempted robbery in Cure on Saturday. 31-year-old Stephen Francis of Tampuna was shot during a robbery at the Junction Bar just off Southern Main Road on Saturday. According to reports, around 2 p.m., a gunman entered the bar and attempted to rob the popular establishment. During the robbery, the gunman shot Francis, who ran out of the bar and collapsed in the middle of the roadway. The gunman escaped. Police officers examined the scene and collected a spent and casing and gathered evidence during the three hours before Francis' body, in, uh, after three hours, the body was removed. Francis was the father of an eight-year-old girl. Why, that real sad. Normal, normally going in a bar to drink something and to buy something, maybe to play a little thing and, and buy thing and bust out. Just imagine that, buy a thing and bust out. Just to let you know, and also to the, the Hindu community, Hanuman Joanti, to the Hindu community, the, our advertisers and family members and what. I have a lot of family who are Hindus also, yeah? so I can't, you know. You know, and I know they're watching their Hindus and they're fasting and whatnot, they're going to temple. I have an uncle that's playing. Um... What is that? Um, tabla, what? Drum and tabla in the temple, and they hear in satsang, and they, so he, he foot to foot with that. So happy, you know, and Uman Jayanti to him and whatnot, and the other relatives and whatnot, and to the, East, um, the Hindu community in Trinidad and they got to respect people by religion, yeah? Always remember that to each his own. Let's take a break. The trend centers are back. Fab India Expo at the white tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shagonas, will be reopened from Wednesday, April 21st. Brides, grooms, family and friends, buy unmatched outfits at our bridal boots. Don't forget to match your jewelry to perfection. Fab India Expo would like to wish everyone Ramadan Kareem. Get the latest variety of Islamic wear, also featuring royal and antique furniture from Jaipur, Jodhpur, and Agra. Beautifully hand carved teak furniture from Saharanpur. You will be required to wear your mask, sanitize, and check your temperature before entering. All COVID protocols will be observed. Fab India Expo, starting April 21st, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., every day, including weekends. New Eyewear presents its luxury eyewear collection. Come and see some of the biggest brands in the eyewear industry. Versace, Nike, Nine West, Coach, Michael Kors, Ray-Ban and much, much more. Get great specials and promos every day. Pre-selected frame with special brand purchases. Get digital customized lenses with nanofilm anti-glare coatings and transition lenses. Situated at 91D Montrose Main Road, Chiguanas. Call 672-5052 or 390-3196. Conditions apply. If you're building or renovating, make Army Hardware your first, last, and only stop. We have all types of blocks for a steady finish. We've got you covered with our plain and painted roofing galvanized sheets, I-beams, and CNC pull-ins. Our BRC can be beaten on price or quality. We have decking sheets, TCL cement, and much more, all at affordable prices. So come into our two locations, Derrick Road, Chase Village, or Eastern Main Road in Aruka. Call us at 665-9526 or 672-85. At the finest grill hut, our meats and seafood are charcoal grilled to perfection. Our unbeatable flavor comes from local seasoning and special crafted sauces. Compliment your meal with our exceptional sides. Call 318-4046 for pickup or check us out on social media. All needs halal. Marketing Company Limited and view our large stock of ready-made wrought iron designs. Visit us at 44 Montrose Main Road, Chukwonas or call 235-4283-GATE or 235-4766-IRON. Do you know just how important tires are in getting the maximum performance from your car? Dunlop a leading manufacturer of ultra-high performance tires, carefully designed grooves and blocks for more rubber-to-road contact. O Snacks has set the bar with our dark chocolate-dipped chewy granola bars. Double nut, 
irresistibly sweet and salty with almonds, peanuts, and dark chocolate. Double chocolate, a true chocolate lover's delight with 100% Trinidadian cocoa. Our bars are wholesome and delicious. They combine the best of nature in every bite. Go on, try them. O Snacks Dark Chocolate Dipped Chewy Granola Bars. Healthy never tasted this good. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, and roti makers. Try our high-quality, bromate-free, all-purpose, and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chikmicho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715. Or visit us at Warrenville, Canopia. Chikmicho Limited. Quality you can trust. Get delicious meals and cold drinks at Double R Restaurant and Bar. Enjoy local cuisine daily and our Saturday Riverline menu, Fireside Duck, Cascadoo, Goat Head, Lagoon Rice and more. Delivery available in the Shibonis area. Call us today for more info. back uh, just to let you know uh, a one man is dead and another injured for their shooting is the seventh huh? shooting incident in El Socorro on Saturday remember eight persons lost their lives so this is the seventh 21 year 21 year old Giovanni 21 year old Giovanni Stewart of Lut of Lutu Street was gone down while You know everybody here, yeah, everybody does talk to him. He does help. He loves his music. And he's a spoiled child. That is one thing, because anything he wants, he gets from his father and mother. He just gets over there and he don't know where next to do one. My brother just gets shot. Yeah, but you see, I can't run the entire interview. So some of you will see the entire clip on Facebook or YouTube. That's what we're going to do now. So somebody lengthy clips, we're going to cut it off and send it on YouTube. Also, the number eight person, a 47-year-old mechanic was gone down in Pity Valley on Friday night. Kurt Charles of Pioneer Drive, Ravine Road, Ravine Road, was shot and killed along Ravine Road on Friday around 11.55. Charles common law wife reported that they were lying in a car park in the front of a shop when she observed a vehicle stop nearby. Several loud explosions were heard and Charles fell to the ground suffering from gunshot wounds. Right, this is the area. And let me tell you something. If you feel last week, I went to 96. Remember the 96-year-old woman that was, that was bonged? You, you remember? And I showed you the house and whatnot. Right, she was found. She was found. I'm looking, I'm looking for people. If you have information, if you think that crazy, hold on. A 26-year-old man today. Marbella police arrested a 26-year-old man today for charge for raping and buggering his... A, a 35 year old woman at a home in South Trinidad. 85? What? 
85? I to go. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I will tell you. Let's imagine that. So 86 last week. No, 96. She was murdered. This week, the rape, rape, an 85-year-old woman. Just imagine that. And? And sodomized. And sodomized. Also, a 28-year-old man is in serious condition at the Portsmouth Jewish Hospital for a shooting incident in Lavington on Saturday. Also, a 58-year-old Sandy Grandy man was hospitalized after being hit by a stray bullet on Friday. I have so much to tell you. I'm out of time. Tomorrow, you're going to see more. I'm going to tell you all about the Venezuelans and them. Remember, what's up me on 2944081. Make sure you get your ad on crying much. Good night.
y'all. This is jungle loud. This is this is this is jungle loud. Crying out loud. Getting out of this. This is jungle loud there and the hunt is on. A jungle loud there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win plain. It's the last thing on our mind. So crime watch. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back top of evening. I hope you had a, a great weekend. But so many, so many things happened. So many people passed away over the weekend. The former, um, sorry, not the former, the Minister of Energy, Franklin Khan. Then our great friend from Central. Really, really sad. Really, really sad. A lot, a lot of people passed over the weekend, and wow, it was. I mean, it was really something else. They had over six persons murdered in separate incidents. Over the weekend in Marval, Pinal, Gasparillo, Separia, San Juan, and San Fernando. And also, ladies and gentlemen, really, really sad that got the attention of so many people. A 96-year-old woman in Separia was found tied. You tell her, Joseph. She was found tied up at her home. Well, do you know? In fact, I had, I had a whirlwind weekend because I was in, in Separia. Then I went to Pinal. Then I, I went to Gasparillo. Yeah? It was just, wow, over the weekend because... I know some of you keep telling me, look, we want to see you back out there. We want to see you. I'm so happy when we see you on the, on the crime scenes and whatnot. So I've decided now just to let you know I'm working closely. We're still putting the, the logistics with respect to security arrangement when I go out there because, you know, not everybody is my friend. Not everybody is my friend. Like we had a little situation last night in, the, in, in, in Beckles Street in Pinal. They had a guy around. I don't know he's 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 he, he looks like a deportee. But we're going to pay special attention to what's going on in Beckham Street, Fraser Avenue, Fraser's Tracer Road or whatever, right? Uh, right. So, so you can use like a, a little track because a lot of people have been complaining about criminal activities in, the, in those streets, the Beckham Streets and whatnot. There are a lot of, you know, people selling drugs, guns and whatnot. And we need to clean it up. Last time we were confronted by a little, a man, a, a, a wantabe, some wantabe badge. And he, he, again, he looks like a deportee. African descent with a, an, a, an accent, and, but I just didn't want to rile up a scene. As I told somebody last Saturday, you know, outside, I don't want to rile up a scene to call in anybody because I have this thing sometimes. I do not like to go on scenes with a lot of people behind me. You know, I don't like to make it look like, oh, Ian Allen has arrived and have a, a security, two, two, two security with me and whatnot. No, I don't like that. They are wrong. So if I have problems, they will come, in, you know, really, really fast in less than a couple of seconds. But nevertheless, that is not the issue here today. A short while ago, just to let you know, and you are getting breaking news on Crime Watch. All those of you who are looking at me on Facebook, who have liked my page, subscribe on YouTube, download the app and whatnot. Um, this guy was just, just released minutes, minutes, minutes. Uh, Sort Inspector Mark Hernandez was just released. Apparently, he was charged with misbehaving public office in relation to investigation in relation to investigation to the treatment of the suspect in the abduction of, of murder of Andrea Barrett. Remember the two guys? Uh, Belfon and Belcon and, and Andrew and, and, and Morris. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, he just walked out. This, no, this is news, listen to me. This is news. This is news before the news. This is news before the news. Uh, he just walked out, out of Mel uh, Maloney Police Station minutes ago. I had my camera crew there. We just went live with it. So some of you now seeing the description will be there shortly. Uh, so I'm just going to pull it back. Go ahead. Yes, exit City Maloney Police Station. Mr. Mark Hernandez, who this afternoon has been charged with the offence of misbehaviour in public office. Mr. Hernandez is a police officer who is the head of SORT, who has given 23 years of his life to the people of Trinidad and Tobago in serving them. As the head of SORT, Mr. Hernandez puts his life at risk on a daily basis 
to protect the people of Trinidad and Tobago from those persons who on a daily basis go out there to rob, rape and murder the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. The incident that led to the charge that has been proffered against Mr. Hernandez, Hernandez this afternoon is the incident that caused a, a, a great degree of outrage throughout Trinidad and Tobago, where the entire country came together when Andrea Barrett was murdered. The, the, the story behind that is that almost in every high-profile kidnapping and every high-profile murder, Mr. Hernandez and his team of SWORD officers are called upon the scene to investigate the actions of the most vicious and heinous criminals in this country. And today, as a result of discharging his duty as a police officer on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago, leaving his house every single day and his three children and his wife to put his life at risk to protect the people of Trinidad and Tobago. The reward is that he has been charged for misbehavior in public office. It is really a sad day for the people of Trinidad and Tobago and for an officer like Mr. Mark Hernandez to be put through the agony and the torment of being incarcerated for the past what is now hundred over in excess of 140 hours. 140 hours for an investigation to take place. And when at the end of the day this the, 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 the chips fall where they may in relation to this charge, I am confident that Mr. Hernandez will be proven to be innocent and one hopes that his reputation will be restored. In the application that was brought before the High Court, the bio of Mr. Hernandez, his CV, and the number of copious certificates that he has been awarded by the Commissioner of Police for his work on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago is a matter of public knowledge. And it really is, it really is a sad day. And every single police officer who leaves their home and puts their life at risk against the most heinous criminals in this country should take a lesson today as to what can be the reward for you when you give 23 years of your life for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Hernandez, if you have anything to say. I want to tell you, it is never a good thing when citizens die and I can tell you that investigation and that operation was painful. It was, we felt pain for Andrea Barth. Our mission was to search and rescue her. We were searching for hostage rescue. It's very unfortunate what happened to the two guys and they did not die in police custody, but they died seeking medical attention and they were brought to the hospital by the officers. And I can tell you, and the two persons who died, they died with a lot of secrets. And we wanted them alive so they could have been brought before a competent authority to answer for their crimes. And the officers of the Special Operations Response Team, decent man, woman, child, to stand up and represent our country because our country is bleeding and it need you it need the good people to say this is wrong and we are going to make it and it's possible so thank you everybody have a great evening thank you very much Yeah, now you got that before anybody, yeah? You got that before anybody in Trinidad and Tobago, any media house.
who could have run with that. You got it before on crime. What you remember, it is news before you. That just happened minutes to six, and we were able to send a, a guy there to go live, make sure we get it to you. So all our fan, fan page users and fan uh, Facebook users who subscribe every day, and that's why I tell you, come in, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All those of you who on, 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 on YouTube and download the Ian Allen app, this is, don't just look at the ad, you know, but, you know, it, you know, it is just an amazing thing what's happening in this country that there are people like Mark Hernandez who go out there and sort, and police officers by extension, they go out there every single day, and just to, it just goes to show you the tanks, the tanks that, that you know, that is, I mean, just as it said, these people didn't die in, 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 in police custody. But anyway, you know, the, that matter with respect to Andrew Barry before the court, but we're just speaking with him. But it's so sad, yeah? It is so, it's really a wake-up call, you know, to police officers. You're really on your own sometime, and you're really, really, it's, I mean, I was just looking at some of the commendations that this guy received, Mark and Andrew, because I can distinctly recall, the, you remember it had a church, you remember it had a church where, where police raided a place called Transform Life Ministries. That was on the Eastern Main Road in Aruka, where the people, well, those mentally challenged were kept in cages and so. You remember that? Just go to that video really fast for me. Go to it fast, please. Yeah, you remember that also. You remember, you remember, Swan was a part of that, yeah, and other police officers. You remember with this woman from South, um, Pauline, when... Yeah, they were the person who, ex who, who did the extraction, yeah? Remember that when the Stuart Young and everybody was there on the streets and whatnot? Yeah, remember this clip? Yeah, and I'm just showing you. See, sometimes you really, you really have to know people. I was just because at, at, at some of the commendation certificates of completion. These are just some of the certificates I saw Mark and Anders got. Go ahead. Tell me when we are ready for that, sir. Go ahead. We have a little technical glitch. All right, but we got, we, yeah, we're putting it together right now. I just wanted to show it, you know, I just wanted to show it to you. All right, are we ready? Go ahead. I just wanted to show you because really, you know, it's really, really amazing how, how things happen and you see these people, but Go ahead. All right, not so fast, please. Internet, these, these are just some of the commendations that he, they, they, they he received. Go ahead. I saw one from the Embassy Tactical Officer Association. Go ahead. Wow. I do not mark so qualify. I saw he got one from the American Embassy also. Yeah, amazing, huh? Come back to me. And also, just to let you know, I, the, an, another person was released today also with them. You remember they were in custody since last Wednesday? Yeah? You know, so much, you know, so much attention. So much, so much attention being placed on, on, on the head of sort, police officers and whatnot. And it's like, you realize that when the, when, when, hard-working police officers and decent police officers go after the monsters that come and rape you and rob you and kill you and rape your daughters and, and, and murder your husbands. It's like, they don't even, the, the, the justice system in Trinidad and Tobago, don't even pursue them. Don't even pursue the, 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 the criminal elements and, the, and, 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 the, and you know, their, their kingdom. Like how they pursue to, the, you know, to discredit a policeman. Yeah, they, the, the efforts, the efforts that, that different these agencies place in going after the police, the hard-working persons to make sure they get locked up. For what? For killing a scum? Yeah, they are scums. People who rape, people who rob, people who, who murder your son in home invasions and whatnot. Yeah, the, the attention that is being placed on police officers. If we could channel that same in, uh, attention on the criminal elements, here would have been a safe place, really, really safe place, because I saw today, ladies and gentlemen, also, um, also, 
Today, WPC Laura Gadar, who was, who was also detained along Hernandez, uh, was, uh, and filed a lawsuit, apparently, uh, she was also released today. So a lot, you know, a lot, has, a lot has happened. I mean, everybody can breathe, but nevertheless, it is a wake-up call. It is a wake-up call today. So you got news before the news. When we come back, I'm going to tell you really far, but a lot has happened politically. As you know, Stuart Chung is now the Minister of Energy. Fitzgerald Hines is now the Minister, is now the minister of, um, of National Security. Could you tell me what exactly is happening in this country? Let me just run it fast. Today there was a press release by the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. This is it here. The Honorable Fitzgerald Hines will now serve as Minister in National Security. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley today, April 19, advised Her Excellency Paula Mel Weeks, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, to with immediate effect in accordance with Section 39763 and 91 and 79 one of the Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago reassigned Stuart Chung uh, as Minister re, uh, of Energy and Energy Industry in addition to his duties as Minister and the Minister of Office of the Prime Minister. Reassign um, Fitzgerald Hines now takes Stuart Chung's uh, ministry now. So he's now the Minister. You imagine this man is the Minister of National Security. And you know he was from, do you know ladies and gentlemen, Fitzgerald Hines, listen to me, was the Minister of, of Youth Development and National Service. And you know, you ask, what has he done for youths in Trinidad and Tobago? And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is now Minister of National Security. Where, I mean, this is a very critical, critical portfolio as a minister. No track record, nothing. Huh? Just imagine that. Just a strong PNM supporter. Also, we have um, Foster Cummins who was appointed as Minister in the Ministry of Works and Transport, will now take Fitzgerald Hines' ministry, now Minister of Youth Development and National Service. I believe Foster Cummins is a great guy. He's a great friend of mine. Really, really great guy. Well, yeah, I know Foster Cummins. Some of you might be shocked to say, you know PNM people? I know Foster Cummins. Yeah, yeah, great guy. My, uh, so he's now in charge of the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service and Stuart Young is now the Minister of Energy. So ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, I'll tell you about the murders. Let's take a fast break. We're ready, running hot boy. Visit Party Paradise and make your next party a fantastic event. Located in Tobago, Gulf City Mall, and now in Chaguana. Get licensed character supplies, candies, tokens, and more. Make your event a party today with Party Paradise. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work, and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp, or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. The trend centers are back. Fabinger Expo at the white tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogonas, will be reopened from Wednesday, April 21st. Brides, grooms, family and friends, buy unmatched outfits at our bridal booths. Don't forget to match your jewelry to perfection. Fabinger Expo would like to wish everyone Ramadan Kareem. Get the latest variety of Islamic wear. Also featuring royal and antique furniture from Jaipur, Jodhpur and Agra. Beautifully hand-carved teak furniture from Saharanpur. You will be required to wear your mask, sanitize and check your temperature before entering. All COVID protocols will be observed. Fabinger Expo, starting April 21st, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Every day including weekends. Courtesy of Adris Marketing Limited. Allahumma inni laka shumtu wa bika amantu wa alayka tawakkaltu wa ala rizqika attaatu Idris Marketing Limited is the Caribbean's largest supplier of raw tie and parts and accessories. We carry security steel doors, aluminum windows, gate tracks, hinges and much more. For domestic and commercial use, located at Freeport and Arapita Avenue. Don't wait until it's too late. Courtesy of Idris Marketing Limited. <laughs> 
Custom canopies and coverings. Don't let the rain or sun stress you out. At Custom Canopies and Coverings, we fabricate, install, and refurbish all types of residential and commercial awnings. Custom Canopies and Coverings has a team of experts who are certified and qualified in the installation and fabrication of awnings. We provide professional 24-hour service at competitive prices. Call us in Trinidad at 293-6142 or 4637429 or in Tobago at 2821068 for a free quotation or site visit. Installation anywhere in Trinidad and Tobago. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagornas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Save money at Neil Pool. Service any unit starting at 175. Come for their units for only 2050. Or get a Lennox unit for only 2700. Massive sale now on. Call to book your appointment today. Visit the Classic Tiles Showroom at number 64 in Devil Road, Chagunas and view our wide selection of mosaic, planks, ceramic and porcelain tiles to suit every style and budget. We cater to do-it-yourself projects and professionals. Our helpful staff is ready to assist. We also carry a variety of tools, paints, accessories and equipment. Call us at 665-1547 for unbeatable prices. Shop at Classic Tiles today. Spruce up your home and business with ornate and crafted wrought iron designs from R.E.K. Welding and Fabricating Limited. Visit us at Shagornis next to the Diwali Nagar. Be safe, be secure and in style with your number one choice, R.E.K. Welding and Fabricating Limited. Located in the heart of Gasparillo, Naturally Fresh Food Supermarket offers you the lowest prices on all your everyday food and household supplies. We have massive weekend specials. Also available at Green Hill Foods, Princess Town. fighting for justice and people who understand this people like mark hernandez and them look at i mean look at his qualifications look at him and when you're fighting for justice remember his name was also one of the names that was supposed to go uh, uh confirmed as deputy commissioner of police here yeah? but jacob uh, jacob had been confirmed as deputy commissioner and they had other persons they had fact they had uh, um inspector hernandez and and andre norton who is in charge of police training academy. So they the persons, remember, it was a fight for the deputy commissioner of police. But how come, you know, it reminds me, eh? it reminds me, it reminds me, how come just before when the name now go to parliament, Jacob already got it there, how come all this effort, you see, I said, you have to understand, so you really have a mafia out here, you know? It, you know, when they're out to get you, they will get you, you know? They will get you if you slip your slide, boy. If you slip your slide, so now Mark, Deputy Commissioner, is there no Deputy Commissioner again for Hernandez? No? I don't think so. I mean, I'll have to call my good friend, his attorney, um, Gerald Ramdin, and find out, oh, but that's not going to happen again. And you know, it reminds me, it reminds me, I could remember when then um, DCP uh, Dulachan, you remember Dulachan, or was Shagona's boy? Boy, when that man was supposed to be Commissioner. Remember, it was him and Gary and other persons. Oh, God, they started to dig up all kind of thing about Dulalchan when he was a little boy and this and that. You know, when, them don't, when, when government don't want you, when government after you, them will just, you know, it's just unbelievable. And I, I just want you, and just like myself, you know, you think they don't want me, you don't think they, they, they don't want me to be at Hernandez too and go and lock me up in a police station. But anytime they catch me, this, anytime they catch me straight, they will deal with me but nevertheless the good lord will protect me the good lord will protect me people don't understand this is not a tv show you know this is a show standing up for what is right this is an a lot of a lot, a lot of persons might like that and say take the politics out take this let me tell you something i i am i am the voice and i have my supporters and i will stand with them and i will stand with the people at trinidad and tobago and whatever and whatever be, whatever comes my way I'll, I'll, I'll have to weather it i'll have to weather it because i understand the dance when i was locked up in cora okay I, that is the dance i am 
I, I would not be treated normal. I would not, be, I, I would not get a fair, a, 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 a fair trial, as they say. People like me, things different, you know, things different. Ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, was tested for COVID-19 and the result remained positive. Today he was tested and he's still COVID-19 positive. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm, a, you know, I'm oh God, I feel sorry when I look at these two young fellas that lost their life, boy, in the accident. Where I put it on? Where I put it on? Three people were killed following a fiery crash along the Western Main Road. And you know, people will say all kind of things. Oh, they're wrong. And they was driving on the end of the road and the opposite side of the road. Come back to me. Come back to me. I have a little video before, they, before it happened. They were having fun. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Some of you who get old and hung up right now, remember when you were, when you was young. And not because there's three little African boys and say, they might be went and do something wrong. Wait, 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 wait. Shut your blinking mouth. That is somebody children. That is somebody son. That is somebody brother. You know what it is? The, watch me. If I love one to die and you still can't get to see his face. You, you can imagine that death of good boy. Because we all had our time with cars. We all. I had my time. I had my time. Believe me. I don't look like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, shots all on the highway. Um, what, what, what color was my Integra boy? A burger in Tegra, yeah, drop low spot, two door sunroof, wet, hot rims. Boy, watch me. I, I went through that. Yeah, I was like, oh, car and ringing and a dip up and down. Every time we meet, everybody opening the engine, really, really, car, car, car. everybody go through that phase in life. Everybody, so, so let us not be too fast to judge. May their souls rest in peace to the family. They live, I've been told the boys, they punk command and whatnot. Oh, Lord Jesus Smith, Lord Father. I am sure that they made, they, you know, they made, they made right with their maker at that time. It's sad. Sometimes you get a little burn. You see, I got a little thing, a little, a little lighter thing here, right here. And I was like, mm. you know, you, you lick your hand, how can I do? You can imagine that fiery thing, boy. Stop making negative remarks about the people. Stop saying they look for that. Stop saying that. I don't like that. Maybe it was two people from Chagona's or I say where things, you know, you're a cry out and whatnot, but not because they're from Pankuman and they might be a, we, you don't know what I'm talking about. Relax all yourself. I feel sorry for them. I'm saddened by it. Really, really saddened. In fact, I have little videos before it happened and whatnot where they were having fun in the car. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, 19 year old Jarrell Williams of 119 Be uh, Belleron Street Point, Kumana, and 21-year-old Justin Hayes and Isaiah Kyle, both also from Point Kumana, died following a car crash along the Western Main Road. According to police report at about 4.50 a.m., the, the driver lost control and hit an iron fence post on a compound on the southern side of the road. The blue Honda Elantra was believed to be, was believed to be traveling at a high rate of speed in the westerly direction, whatever, whatever. But that's uh, that, that crazy. Upon impact, police said the vehicle spun several times. When it finally stopped, it burst into flame. The driver, Gerald Williams, was trapped in the vehicle and was burned to death while another occupant was taken to St. Jay Medical Facility via ambulance. Hayes was pronounced dead at hospital and Kyle was pronounced dead just after midday. Meanwhile, on Facebook post, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley sent condolences to the relative of those killed in the crash as the incident. Very good, Rowley. That was good. This is, this is, this is jungle out there. This is jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there.